Hello everyone, Molly Pope here of Molly Pope Art. I have a Coreopsis wildflower tutorial for you. These are really beautiful, delicate petals and stems. Uh, this is a native wildflower um, that grows in the United States. And it has beautiful dark burgundy red centers on the petals. And there is a golden yellow that's about halfway out. There are eight petals centered around a circular center and the leaves and the stems are sort of grass-like. So they're very thin, very tiny, and very delicate. To begin painting your wildflower painting, you are going to be using cadmium yellow medium. And you're gonna be base coating the yellow portion of the petals using this color. You're also going to be shading those yellow areas using yellow ochre. Now, yellow ochre is a brownish yellow. So if you do not have that color, you can absolutely mix up a little bit of brown into your cadmium yellow medium, and you should get a beautiful, nice shading color for your yellow. Um, that yellow, that, that uh, shading yellow uh, of the cadmium yellow is going to be used where um, the petals maybe have um, they're sort of folded over onto themselves and along the sides of the petals um, and also where the petals have little creases you can kind of see that um, in the finished work here as I'm working you can see where I'm absolutely applying those uh, that shading color so again you're going to base coat each petal with the cadmium yellow medium and you're going to shade with that yellow ochre so i have painted this entire painting with just seven colors so you do not need to, to invest a lot of money in acrylic paints if you're just starting out if you're just learning you can get by with just a few colors a few basic colors and i'm using two brushes i'm using a size uh, one quarter inch angle brush and that is what I'm going to be base coating all of the petals with and then you'll see me switch to a size zero liner brush to finish out the details. So this uh, Coreopsis wildflower has eight petals in total, and they are formed, you know, in a circular pattern around the center of the flower, which is basically a small little ball. Um, you'll see when I am painting the bud, you can kind of get the, the idea of the shape of the wildflower. It is definitely a ball in the center, and again, those eight petals work um, around the center so I'm working wet into wet that's typically um, what you would like to be doing when you are painting with acrylics you want to have the feeling that the paint coming off of your paintbrush is smooth and creamy so you definitely want to wet your paintbrush first remove all the extra excess moisture and then work the paint creamy and work it all the way into the bristles on your paintbrush. It should feel good coming off of your paintbrush. There shouldn't feel any drag on the paper or canvas that you're working on. So I mixed up for the highlight color on these petals. Um, I mixed up a little bit of titanium white mixed into the uh, cadmium yellow medium to give a nice bright highlight in certain areas of the petals. Now, the center of these this Coreopsis flower has beautiful dark burgundy um, color in the center, or some people would call this a mahogany color. And you're going to achieve that color by mixing permanent red with a burnt umber. So you get a really rich uh, brownish red um, for the petals down by the center of the flower and you're going to base coat each of those petals 
um, with that mix of the burnt umber mixed with the uh, permanent red. So the color is a, um, a deep um, burgundy or again, um, a lot of um, flower growers call this color uh, a mahogany. And I'm using my angle brush to sort of push and pull the paint where I want it to go. I'm leaving a little bit of white spot in the petals and I'm going to go back over those white areas on those petals um, once the initial base coat dries down a little bit and I'm going to use more of just the permanent red on its own. That way it will give you kind of a highlight um, area. It'll look like those uh, petals down at the center have sort of hills and valleys um, and so that'll give the petal some a, a ruffled appearance. Now I've gone back in to the very center of the flower and mixed up a little bit stronger of uh, a little bit deeper color um, so that it appears that that center of the flower is actually down deeper um, and this will give the appearance of your your flower having a little bit of dimension and a little bit of detail instead of it having the appearance of being a flat image you'll get a little bit more of a 3d effect this way you want the middle of those that flower to appear to be deep down and you're just going to mix a little bit more burnt umber into your red so it's deeper than your initial application of color and you're going to apply that around the very center um, of the flowers but you're also going to pull a little bit of that color out over the initial red color that you first laid down And you're going to feather out the red into the yellow a little bit. That is what I'm doing right now. And just to sort of um, blend those yellow and the red just slightly, there is a definite difference in this petal on the wildflower and the Coreopsis petals. There's a definite difference of color between the red and the yellow. They are not overly blended. Um, so you want to kind of keep those two areas separate. Um, I have another video uh, where um, I recently posted of a tulip, a red yellow tulip, and those colors on those petals are very blended. Um, I push and pull the paint together so that the yellow and the red are blended. On this uh, flower, on the wildflower, Coreopsis, um, you want there to be a definite difference between those two colors. You do not have to blend those two together. Um, if you grow this wildflower, it is so gorgeous. Um, and again, you could, you'd really see the difference. You can Google images on uh, these Coreopsis. They're actually called a Plains Coreopsis. So... And you'll be able to see how the red and the yellow are very separate. Uh, so for the very center of the flower, I base coated that first using the cadmium yellow medium. And then it has sort of little, um, oh, little bump outs on it, um, little filaments in the center. And I've used um, 
yellow for the center um, and then for the rings around the center um, a little bit of that brown red and then topping off those tiny little areas with a bright bright yellow mixed with titanium white I also went in and added a very very light thin wash of uh, a green mixed with the yellow so I mixed a uh, light olive green mixed with the cadmium yellow medium and that color I used that to kind of break up the petals a little bit and to divine to, to define those petals a little bit more so to begin painting your bud you're going to base coat the leaves and the stems with a mix of um, burnt umber and the light olive green keep it a little bit light this time um, a lot of times I will use a very dark mix of that um, those two colors to begin painting um, any greenery um, leaves or stem but this is very very light um, and again these leaves and the stems are very delicate on this coreopsis wildflower so just use a light touch use your paint in sort of an inky consistency so that it flows nice and smooth off of your paintbrush and um, you can vary the shades on your stems and your leaves by adding a little bit more hooker's green in certain areas um, again so you get sort of that really beautiful bright green color um, on the state on the stems um, for this wildflower so the buds are, uh, I painted the little leaves that, that are on the underside of the buds um, using that mix that was um, the light olive green mixed with a little bit of burnt umber. And then you're going to just basically use a light, light orange um, for the little sections on the flower um, bud and in between those sections you're going to use a little bit of burnt umber and you're going to use a little bit of hooker's green um, to separate those little petals so this tutorial is just about finished this is a little quick one for today um, if you have any questions on any part of this painting as you're attempting this for yourself please ask me um, and drop a comment in the comment section i'm more than happy to help you on your painting journey Thank you so much for watching my videos and spending time on my channel. Have a great rest of your day.